Hello everybody, Interim Terry back again with another video. First of all guys, uh, after this unbelievable match between uh, Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer, I was not even planning on doing a video because I'm totally devastated guys. I'm, I'm heartbroken. Uh, the last the video I did after Federer defeated Rafael Nadal, I was so happy on Fridays and I I uh, told you guys that uh, the most heartbreaking loss in Feather's career that I have had was the 2018 Wimbledon final, that epic one when Roger was going for his sixth Wimbledon title and like we all remember Roger lost against Rafa in that fifth set 9-7 Now that is the second worst loss in Roger's career in my opinion at least for me as a fan now this one against Novak Djokovic today is without any shadow of a doubt the most heartbreaking loss in Roger Federer's career. This was, as, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. This was so close, so close. When I knew this match would be close, I told, I said it to you guys in my preview. I knew that this match would go five sets because. The way that Roger has played in Wimbledon, especially against Rafa, I was so impressed in that match where he took Rafa out in four sets that I, I just believe that he will push Novak Djokovic. He will push Novak Djokovic, and he did. He really did. Uh, all credit to Roger for an amazing performance. To 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 be to be able to produce this kind of perform performance as 37 years old, almost 38 years old, is out of this world. If he, if he would have pulled out this huge victory against, against Novak Djokovic today and have beaten no, Rafa and Novak back to back for the first time in his, in, in his career in Grand Slam, it would of course have been Roger Federer's greatest victory in his life without any shadow of doubt. And he was close, he was really close. He was down, he was behind the, in behind the score all the time. Novak won the first set, then Roger came back and won that second set, then Novak won the third set, and then Roger came back and won the fourth set, and then in the fifth set, it was there where Roger lost the match, when he was, when he had that opportunity to serve it out, and it was 14-15. I have always wished and I have said it to my friends, my family, and I and even have, I wrote, wrote on some, some different social medias that I know that Roger is a player that is, lo loses more tennis matches than both Rafa and definitely and Novak Djokovic when he has match points. I know that. Why is this? I'm not sure. It depends on many things. He had, but one thing is, of course, he, 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 he is not as consistent as these two. He he plays. He has a much much higher risk tennis. So, um, but I have always wished that, that Roger would save this and not do this to his fans on a big big match like this. I know that he has lost against Djokovic before when he have, when he has had match points both in 2010 and 2011 years Open. But I was not devastated in those matches. To be quite honest, I really wasn't, guys. Yeah, I was a little disappointed, yeah, but I knew that Rafa Nadal was waiting in the final and Rafa at that time was giving Roger Federer big trouble, so I really was not that uh, that disappointed those in those two heartbreaking losses in 2010-2011. I was not disappointed, guys, but and it was semi-finals, but this one, I cannot even describe it with words how I'm feeling. I cannot even describe it with words. I am totally, totally devastated, guys. Uh, Roger had his chance. Novak was not impossible today. Roger played good. He played good. He was hanging with with Novak. Novak played good as well. Considering that Roger did 63% first serves in, he made this match really, really close. I never believed that with 63% first serves in, that Roger would be only one point away of win, winning the match. Only one point away. But... Roger was in, Roger was informed in this match. He really was. He was his his confidence his confident confidence was sky high after defeating Rafa Nadal, his longtime nemesis, and he showed that in this match. 
he served 60% first serves in, which is okay. He won 79% of those first serves. He did 94 winners. He did 54 unforced errors. All the stats, guys. Roger was better than Novak Djokovic in all the stats. All the stats. He did more winners. He did more unforced he did more winners. He served higher than Novak. Novak served 62% first serves in. He won more behind his first serves. No, Rafa, uh, Novak, Ra Roger won 79% of the of behind his first serves, and uh, Novak won 74. He was more successful on the net in every part. Roger was better. Only on the unforced errors part, of course. R R Novak did, uh, I think, uh, uh, 54 unforced errors. I think, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, Novak did 10 less unforced errors than, than, than Roger Federer. 10 less. That, 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 that was it, really. So, uh, so in everything, Roger was better. But, like I said in my preview, the only thing that Roger was not better in was on the big moments, guys. It was on the big points. Can it be bigger than to have match points? Can it be bigger? And I knew that. I was praying. I was holding my fingers. I was watching the match with, me, with, my, with my brother and with my sister. I said that he needs the first serve. When he was 50, when, he, when he was 40, 15 up, I said he needs the first serve. Novak will not give the match points free to him. Novak will not do it. He will not do it. Novak is, is like that. When the when the, when the when the big moments are around, when when the matches are, are close, he will not give a free point to you. You have to deserve it. And I knew that if Roger doesn't make his first serves in, and it will be a it will be a rally, or no, Roger will lose, and which he did. He, Roger's probably biggest weapon is his serve, but when he needed that the most in that game. When he was serving for the match, that first serve let him down. That first serve was not going in when he had those two match points. And when when Novak saved those match points, I, I knew that this is it. I knew that, oh my God, Roger is doing that all over again. Roger is losing one for the 21th time in his career when having match points. For the third time in a slam match against Novak Djokovic. But this one is the, the the worst one of all the matches that Roger has lost when he had match points. This one is the worst one, guys. I just cannot... Because it was a Grand Slam final. This was a Wimbledon final. This was... Roger... It was so much in stake. Roger could have won his 21th Grand Slam title. Roger could have, could have been the most... The oldest Grand Slam winner in history. And surpassed Ken Roswell. Roger could have defeated both Rafa and Novak back to back for the first time in his career in a Grand Slam. I don't know, guys. The only thing that was missing for me was not to cry. I was I was very close of doing it, but I didn't. Roger won all in all even more points. He won 14 more points than Novak Djokovic. Roger, I think, won 100. I don't know exactly, but because I have not watched the stats so closely, because I'm devastated. I I don't I don't I'm not even in the mood to watch the stats. But I know that Roger won 14 more points than Novak Djokovic, and that is not the first time that has that has happened before. But like I said, in tennis, in these close matches. The player who wins the big points will win the matches, and that was the case with Novak Djokovic. And am I, am I surprised? No, I have seen Novak Djokovic doing this before, especially against Roger Federer. I hate it when I'm right. I really, really, really hate it when I am right, guys. And this match become exactly like I previewed. I thought I thought that Novak will win three two. I thought that the reason why Novak will win because he will be the more, more solid one. He will be more the more who, who will, not spread balls, and do unforced errors on on crucial moments. Look at those those tie breaks. Novak wins all the three sets in tie breaks. In all those tie breaks, 
Novak is the more clutch player than Roger Federer. He wins the first tiebreak 7-3 on the in the first set. He wins he wins the second tiebreak in the in the in the third set Novak Djokovic 7-4. And then in the fifth set Novak wins the third tiebreak 7-5. Name um, I'm, I'm 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 sorry no. I'm sorry. The first tiebreak Novak wins in the first set 7-5 after no after Roger being up 5-3. Novak turns that around. The second tiebreak on the third set Novak wins 7-4. And in the third tiebreak in the fifth set Novak wins 7-3. So that that last tiebreak in that fifth set Novak wins the easiest it is the easiest tiebreak that Novak wins if you look at the score 7-3. Novak gave Roger a chance to serve it out. He gave it. Roger had it. Roger didn't took it. If we fans are devastated, I know that millions of fans are devastated around the world because Roger Federer is the most popular tennis player in the world. I think he has the most fans of all. So I, I am completely convinced that many tennis fans around the world are crying. I was very close of doing it. Can you imagine, guys, how Roger Federer must feel? Can you imagine how he must feel? Seriously, can you imagine? <sighs> he doesn't even know us, guys. He doesn't even know who we are. But we fans who have watched him over 20 years, at least I have done that wants him to win, we cheer on him. I personally fell in love with Roger Federer because of his tennis style. I loved his tennis style. He's effortless, his, his way to play, his way to hit winners. I've never liked defensive players like Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. They are tremendous good tennis players. They are amazing good tennis players. But I have always enjoyed watching Roger Federer more. But when it comes to being most effective when it comes to being more clutch. Roger Federer is not even close of that uh, comparing with no R Novak and, R and Rafael Nadal. I am devastated but I have to, con I have to con congratulate Novak Djokovic for an amazing, amazing performance in total in Wimbledon in two weeks time and a great, great performance against Novak Djokovic for against Roger Federer for hanging in there, for never giving up. He is truly a terminator, guys. If Rafa Nadal is a beast, Novak Djokovic is, is a terminator. And what does Novak what is that what is that separates Novak Djokovic against all the others? What is it? What is it? I watched this match with my brother and my brother he loves tennis but not like me. I'm a I'm a tennis freak. And he said to me like this, my brother. Honestly, he said to me, I have never seen a player who returns as good as Novak Djokovic. My god, I thought. Roger Federer, he did a lot of great serves. He, I, all in all, I think Roger Federer did 25, 25 aces. Man, how, how, how he returns. Man, how he returns. Novak Djokovic. And that's the big difference. I have thought that Rafael Nadal have, have good returns. And he has. But Rafa's returns, they are not even close as good as Novak Djokovic. Rafa returns. He, Rafa doesn't punish you with, with the returns. Rafa makes many times short returns but Novak's returns they land they land on the on the baseline more or less all the time more or less all the time they land on the baseline Novak's returns and on on the upper side Roger has not the greatest returns Roger has not the Novak didn't serve amazingly good this, today guys I think Novak did nine double faults and he first and he served 62 percent first serves in that is not a crazy number no, Roger was seeing a lot of second serves, but he doesn't do a, he doesn't do anything with those second serves. It too much, too many slices on the second serves. Too many slices. To be quite honest, in the end, the better player won, guys. Novak was the player who he he was the more solid player, especially in the fifth set. Novak was better, especially in the fifth set. Novak was better, even though Roger had a, a couple of chances there as well, uh, two. Breakpoints opportunities that in that 12-11 uh, game something like that, but 
all in all, Novak is the more composed player, the more solid player, who leaks less unforced errors, who is who is best on the big moments. That's why that's that's why he's a terminator in my opinion. He is best on the big moments, not against not just against no, Roger Federer, but against Rafa Nadal as well. But Rafa can can challenge Novak more in the big moments. Rafa has won one match at least when they have, when the matches has gone the distance. That was the 2013 French Open semi-finals. Roger is, is losing his fourth match now against, against Novak Djokovic when the matches has gone the distance. And three of them, Roger has had match points in three of them. Two times in US Open 2010-2011 and now this heartbreaking loss here in Wimbledon. <sighs> Novak Djokovic is an amazing tennis player, guys. He is a really complete tennis player. He's He's taking care of the Grand Slams outside French Open. He's, if he stays healthy, he for sure will catch up Nova, Roger Federer's 20 Grand Slam title. And, about, and, for, and for Roger, for, and I think even Rafa will do it. If you consider Rafa how dominant and how superior he, he is in French Open, he will do it as well. But Novak, Novak for sure will do it as well. Because Novak is winning the, are the other three guys. Novak is winning, he's winning the other threes. He's winning Australian Open, he's winning Wimbledon, he's, he, he will be the favorite in the US Open. So, so he's, he's collecting the other, the other three slams and Ra Rafa is collecting only one slam each year, and which is French Open. Because we don't have any other players behind who are challenging these guys. We don't have. Who? Zverev? Tsitsipas? Uh, Dimitrov? Come on, we don't have, guys. Only Felix. Felix is only 18 years old, almost 19. So he's not ready enough. To, t to challenge R R Novak and Roger and uh, Rafa. And, and Rafa cannot beat R Nov Novak Djokovic on the fi fast surfaces. Rafa, if Rafa was in the final, Rafa would, he will, he would lose in this final as well. He would do it. N but not if he had match points. Then he would not lose. No. To have match points and losing, this happens only to Roger Federer. Not only, because other players does it as well, but I mean, when you compare these three giants, Roger Federer is by, by far the, 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 the player of, when it comes to these three that loses the mass match, most matches when he has match points. Now he's, now he's doing for the 21th time, I believe. So, uh, I think he choked on those match points. I don't know. I think he choked. I don't know. Um, maybe he didn't choke. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But I just feel that if you have a good server like Roger has, it is your biggest weapon, the serve. And you you are fifty you are forty fifteen up. It is a different thing if you're if you're returning. Then you are in in this van in you are not in advantage position. But you are serving, you are serving, man. You are serving. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He he really should won this match, Roger Federer. I'm not saying that that Novak Djokovic didn't deserve this. He really deserved this. He was the better player in the end, especially on big moments, on, the, on those tie breaks. Like I said, Ro Novak was clearly the better player in all those three tie breakers. But uh, Novak was a clearly better player in the bigger moments. Uh, but uh, when, you have, when you have the opportunity to 40-15, you have the serve and your biggest weapon is the serve. You really should you should close it out, and this is happening. Roger Federer, Roger Federer is by far of the weakest mental player when it comes to these three guys. He is the by far, in my opinion, he is the most talented tennis player of all time. He really is. To be able to play almost as 38 years old this kind of tennis and almost defeat Novak Djokovic, it, it, he is the biggest talent, the, the greatest talent, talent that we have ever seen in my opinion. But he's not the most complete tennis player. The most complete tennis player is Roger, Roger Federer, in my opinion. Just look at the Astral Open 2017, when Roger was out of the competition for six months, then he comes and wins Astral Open after six months of not playing tennis. Only the greatest talent of all time can do a thing like that. So, But when it comes mentally, he definitely is not, he definitely not, he's not even close as strong mentally as Novak Djokovic and Rafa Nadal. That's for sure. I was not planning on doing a video, guys, but I just, I, uh, I knew that you probably was waiting a video. Congre 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 congratulations to Novak Djokovic's 16th Grand Slam title. Uh, very, very, very deserved one. He, uh, Federer, he, he would have deserved the, uh, the, the title as well, but Novak was the better player on the big moments. And, and in these close matches, always 
the the player who wins the big point the big points will win the match and that's what happened today all right guys take care and bye bye